Good morning everyone. Today is the 26th of September. It's Thursday morning and I want to talk about something that's kind of been on my mind for several days. And, um, you know, as we get older, we see things differently. Our perceptions change a little bit. Our perspective on life changes. Our values, what well, well, one time seemed so important. But I have a question for everyone this morning, and that is, who are God's people? Who are God's people? You know, I was brought up with <laughs> a bunch of fruit inspectors. They were constantly ins inspecting people's fruit and trying to ascertain whether they were saved or not. Now I can be I'll be the first to say that if I'm if my salvation is based upon the fruit that I've produced I'll never make it into heaven because <laughs> I can't produce any fruit I can't produce any fruit God is the production of fruit He is the sower of the seed and he's the harvester of the seed who are God's people? Now, there's probably going to be some say, Oh, Larry's gone down the road of compromise. He no longer has any standards or any doctrine. He just has thrown the wind of the whirlwind. No. But I do have a scripture for you this morning. And I'd like for you to think about it. It's in 2 Timothy 2.19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stand assure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. The foundation of God stand assure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. We don't have to be concerned about who are or who are not God's chosen people. We don't have to be concerned that. That's in Lord's hands. The Lord is the one who predestinated all of his elect. We can't do anything to change that. You know, I remember I was talking to a Southern Baptist minister one time and I had moved up to Northwest Missouri and he said do you know any people up there he says well, I'd like to come up there and get some people saved <laughs> you know you know the Bible says go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and making disciples of all nations but it doesn't say go into all the world and get people saved it doesn't say that. It doesn't say go in all the world and get people saved. It says go in all the world. Preach the gospel. The good news that Jesus Christ came in the world to save sinners. And Paul said, of whom I am chief. I can say the same thing. The question is not... How do you determine who are God's chosen people? The question is, are you one of God's chosen people? Am I one of God's chosen people? That's the question, isn't it? And if we are one of God's chosen people, we've been given the gift of faith to believe that we're one of His chosen people. And if we're one of God's chosen people, we will embrace... We will embrace the teachings of Christ and the teachings of the Apostles. But we're not fruit inspectors. <laughs> you know, it's amazing how many churches have this attitude that they have the final say on as to who's one of God's people and who isn't. 
Well, I'm here to say that you're not God. You're not God. The foundation of God standing is sure having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. It does conclude and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But it doesn't say that we are to go around with an election meter zapping people as to whether they're one of God's elect or not. You know? Now I know that there's probably a lot of people that are going to not like this message because there's a lot of people that are out there that are fruit inspectors and that are excommunicating people from fellowship and trying to maintain control over their little clique and trying to maintain their little social status and everything else. You know? God is the one who works everything after the counsel of his own will. God is the one who said, for those whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate, and those whom he predestinated, he also called, and those whom he called, he also justified, and those whom he justified, he also glorified. We didn't have any say in the matter. You know, John 6, 69, and we believe in our sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. You know? If we have any faith, if we have any assurance, if we have any hope, it's only because we've been given it from above. 1 Corinthians 3.10 According to the grace of God which is given unto me, According to the grace of God which is given unto me. A lot of people put a lot of faith in the wrong things. You know, they put faith in their denomination. They put faith in their um, name that's above the door of their church. I'm a Baptist, I'm a Nazarene, I'm a Presbyterian, I'm a Church of God in Christ, I'm a, you say, oh Larry, what are you being ecumenical? No, I'm not being ecumenical, I'm just saying that how many sects are there out there, S-E-C-T-S, how many are there? There's a lot, every flavor that you could imagine. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, caramel, pecan, pecan, whatever you want to call it, almond. My Bible tells me they called them Christians first at Antioch. You say, oh, you're for the Christian church. I'm saying that they were followers of Christ. No, oh, you believe in the disciples of Christ. <laughs> You know, 1 Corinthians 3.11, For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Oh, you're a member of the Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. No. <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth now. The foundation of God stand sure he knows who are his. And you don't have, you're not, an authorized fruit inspector. <laughs> you say, well, aren't we supposed to have discernment? Yes, we're supposed to have discernment. But Paul said, I would have you know nothing other than Jesus Christ and him crucified. Isn't that what he said? I think that's what he said. You know? And so anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. Uh... I'm through, I'm through, I'm at a point in my life where I'm no longer a fruit inspector. I'm a proclaimer of the completed work of Jesus Christ. Good Lord be with you this morning.